Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new day. So before we get into uh, what we ate on day 11 and what we all did that day, um, I just wanted to show you this uh, slideshow of new stickers I have in the Etsy shop. I just listed them today. So there's 13 new stickers and they are non-holiday stickers. So these stickers you can have on something all year round. So um, there's a little bit of something for everyone. So there's like a bookworm in there. So if you know somebody who likes to read, be a perfect sticker for them. So I'll have some inspirational stickers, um, you know, a little variety of everything. So check out the Etsy shop and let's get into the video. Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new day. It's uh, 3.40 in the afternoon. I actually don't think I recorded anything today. Uh, so just so you know, for lunch, uh, for our eat at home, cook at home, uh, we just had the TV dinners today. So, um, But we are at the Sheboygan County Administration Building because we just got done getting our marriage license. Yes. Fiasco. What a fiasco that was. So... I don't feel like talking about it right now. <laughs> Too worked up right now. We're just glad it's over. And uh, so, yeah, it took uh, almost an hour to get it done. Actually, over an hour. Because I had to go to the deed to get his uh, real birth certificate. Because they didn't accept his birth certificate that said certificate of birth. And Which had, I used for 67 years. Yeah, and it had a seal on it and everything. And his paw prints on the back. <laughs> paw prints. <laughs> I call them his paw prints, his footprints. <laughs> but, uh, yep, so we have our marriage license. And, yeah, one step closer. So we're going to head over. Across the street is where the courthouse will be. But I have to go scope it out to see if his wheelchair is going to make it in there. And if not, we got to figure something out for that too. So, so over here, they actually, um, I did the paperwork in there and they came out to the truck. So, because Glenn's wheelchair would not fit through these standard doors. And uh, so they came out and brought the paperwork out for Glenn to uh, confirm out here. But first she brought out a wheelchair for a little kid. Yeah. They wanted to see if he would fit in a normal size wheelchair. Well, that was for like a child. So, all right. So, we'll see you guys in just a little bit. Those doors. I don't know. Well, I got in a back room and check. I'm married. But Not you that. might have had to get up and walk in. Well, that's if I can stand with my walker for a couple minutes. Should I just park in a parking lot and just walk up there? Face that place. Actually, park right there. Oh. And hey, what time is this for next week? Three o'clock. there all right everyone so uh right now we're at the Sheboygan County Courthouse which is right across the street from where we got our license and I am walking around to you were. huh you were 
I was. Yeah. Yeah. You but said you am. I was. I said I was. Did I say am? <laughs> I was walking around, and I walked around all both sides of the building, back and front, to see where Glenn's uh, best option is for getting in the building as far as the size of the door versus the size of his wheelchair and or scooter. So I walked to the front of the building and the doors are much wider. The ramp is much wider than we thought it was going to be. So I think it's going to be an easy option and we're going to drive around the front just so I can uh, show Glenn where we would go. So I walked in the building. Uh, there was a sheriff's deputy and he told me exactly where we're going to go. And uh, so, yeah, I think this is going to be easier than dealing with the people at the marriage license office. So, all right, so we're going to take a ride around the block. the way down the block because these are a bunch of one-way streets oh. so we can't go in one way or the other <laughs> you can talk this matter oh, I, I thought you were talking to me oh, oh no I was talking <laughs> to the video <laughs> so that there you can see it's uh, almost sunset but that there is the channel coming off Lake Michigan there fish that area a lot yep Maybe we'll take a ride to the marina when we're done scoping this out. Oh, that's a, that was a pretty shot of the sun. Actually, we need to go to the bar and get a stiff drink. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't know how stressful this is for us. <laughs> but uh, anyway, oh, we're here in the front. So let me show you guys here. This is the courthouse right here. Right there. And... There is a ramp right over there that's wide enough. I'm going to pull up here. So we would park right here. We would just have to put some change in there. Now we could park up there, but Glenn no longer has his park his disabled parking sticker. So we can't use disabled parking anymore. Um, before anybody asks, um, he hasn't seen a doctor since he's been on Social Security. So... Because he cut me off of everything. Yeah, because he was cut off of everything and he lost his sticker. So Because I made twelve dollars yeah, too much. Because you made twelve dollars too much on your social security. <laughs> but nonetheless, we'd park right here. We'll have to bring the trailer because we have to bring the scooter and wheelchair. So the ramp there is big enough and I went in the doors that you see. Is that where the woman is going? Yep, yeah, right where that woman is walking in on the right side of the camera there uh, that's the door I went through and there's another door directly behind that one but they're much wider than the doors from the uh, office we were just at and then right there we would just go in because we have to get scanned and then he told me everywhere that we would have to go from there so so this looks much easier right right yeah. there just we, to, we just need two parking spots because we'll have the trailer with us. So he said come about between 2.30 and 3 just to give yourselves enough time to uh, get to the basement. What time is it that we're supposed to be there? Yeah, we're getting married at 3 o'clock a uh, week from Friday the 22nd. All right, everyone, so I just showed you um, it's going to be much easier this way. We were going to go try to go around the back because years ago when his nephew got married, that's where we went. So, But now it's locked off, and I figure, well, I'll just take a walk around the front and see how the ramp is, and it's much wider than it is across the street. 
and the doors are too so so good for that and I think we just figured out the problem hopefully hopefully if there's not a lot of cars here yeah our only situation is because we'll have the trailer we'll need two spots so we'll have to come early enough to try to grab two spots and if we can't we'll have to come early enough to drive around until we get two spots but I think at three o'clock it'll kind of die out around here maybe hopefully but Hope so. we'll have to pay for two spots too so we already had to pay twenty four dollars yeah, more. Yeah, because they wouldn't accept his certificate of birth that is sealed. Um, I had to go to the second floor to get a registered certificate of birth. All they want to do is get your money because we just had to pay an extra twenty five dollars for that. Otherwise, we couldn't get the marriage license. So it's like everything you do is money, money, money. Give me more money. So, and plain words to two women were bitches. Yeah, they, they were bitches, sorry to say. Um, but from the get-go, they knew our situation because the lady I spoke to last week that said what, we, what we're what going to be able to do by them coming out to the truck to help us out. When I The minute I walked in, they were trying to do everything they could to get Glenn to come in the office because they were going to be shorthanded. And leaving only one person there in case they got they got swamped well nobody was there so <laughs> my god so it's it's by appointment wasn't it yeah it was by appointment so <laughs> if you got swamped I mean it shouldn't be because you made the appointments but they had a little attitude from the start and so and Glenn knows that I try to be as nice as I can but they just hit me the <laughs> wrong way so the way she was talking, I gave her the same deal back. I, I didn't, I wasn't angry. I just gave her the same tone back. And she must have realized it because then she changed her tone. So, I'm usually like soft-spoken, so to speak. And I bit my tongue. Yeah, and Glenn, I'm proud of him. Good job, babe. He bit his tongue because he could have easily gone up. He, he's very, like, short-fused when it comes to people with attitude and uh, but he thought to himself no nope, let's just get this marriage license before something else goes wrong I know how government workers are yep they'll just walk away from you yep there now they could see you too <laughs> so yeah um, so what I'm doing now I know the lights going in and out but what I'm doing now usually when I had the uh, well, we drove and I took video of the drive. I had my action camera on, but now I've got my phone on there and it does not have image stabilization, but it doesn't seem to be too bad. And now when we're in the truck and you can see us both. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yeah, uh, marriage license taken care of. And then uh, a week from Friday is the big day. We'll be happy when all this is done. Yes, we will be. I mean, we had to scope everything out and as I said in a previous video if you've never dealt with disability especially when the disabled person is an oversized disabled person everything changes and it's very stressful to find ways in a building and and things like that as we just did so you have to go through all that this is how it is when you live that way and uh so we came here last week and you ask them all about it yeah no problem yep and then they just we gave can be us in a the truck and yep. this was one a 180 from what they said yeah we were relieved because they were going to come and help us but as soon as we i got in there they just like were a total attitude and and it's just there was one person that was really nice and that was the person where i had to go get his birth certificate on the second floor she was very nice and she helped us out a lot so but shame on the other two ladies but i could see her attitude when she was walking out the door to come yep. by me yep she just had this uh, yep and yeah so she's very lucky glenn didn't uh give her attitude back he bit his tongue pretty good so proud of you babe well, well the only reason was because of what we're doing yep so so yeah 
I think we we're down one step, one to go. <laughs> like Glenn said, we just want this over <laughs> with. This, if we could have done this online, it'd have been done a long time ago. But yeah, um, it's four after four o'clock now, so maybe we'll just take a drive down to the lake so you guys can see Lake Michigan at this time. And uh, yeah, ready? Yep. We're ready. <laughs> He's uh, get me off this camera. <laughs> so, all right. I'm, I'm kind of getting used to it now. Yeah. So. so, thank you to all the people who are happy to see Glenn on the video. He said he he just said he's starting to get used to being on the camera. So I'm going to start my own channel. <laughs> not. <laughs> that, yeah, that'll never happen. <laughs> yeah, Glenn is definitely not comfortable in front of the camera. I really, you know, I'm used to it by now. But I really, you know you know <laughs> so she's comfortable but she just can't speak of <laughs> the camera <laughs> oh. oh man okay so that's us all right i'm gonna turn you around you could uh watch us <laughs> stop it i don't think you're gonna turn them around <laughs> all right i'm gonna turn the camera around all right <laughs> now i turned you guys around <laughs> let's go for a ride Be dark soon. Yeah. And then I wanted to say my own vows, but I don't have to let me do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I told him about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Our own vows would be: Glenn says, "Do Do you want to marry me?" And I'll say, "I do." And he says, "I do." And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, they let people make their own vows. I know. That's how we are. <laughs> yeah, before, because uh, we got to the building early today and we were sitting in the truck, just <laughs> we were just making jokes about this whole thing. <laughs> I said, we got to be the only uh, couple in America. <laughs> think this way. <laughs> I said, it's still time to go home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He said, like, you really want to do this? <laughs> we can go home. <laughs> He's like, let's just go home. <laughs> and we're not against big ceremonies. If people want to have a big ceremony, more power to you. Hey, to each to each their own. It's just not for us. Don't expect me to be wearing a dress. Don't expect Glenn to be wearing a suit and tie. She knows I'm getting buried in her Eddie. Your Harley shirt. My Harley shirt. <laughs> sweatpants. <laughs> and that's about it. All the docks are Docks are in her Eddie. Yep. Out. Look, they brought up all the docks from the marina. These are all the docks that went in. Yeah. The fishing stations all yeah. closed. Clean, fish cleaning stations all, all closed up now. This is that uh, change in seasons that kind of gets sad every year. When the boats go, are out. Yeah, all the boats are gone. So this here is our marina, Lake Michigan. We used to sit and watch people ice fish. Yeah. So Glenn, uh, I don't know if I told you guys this, but uh, when I used to work in insurance, Glenn used to drive, in wintertime, Glenn used to drive me to work. This is when he could still walk and drive. And then he would stop to get a cup of coffee in yep. some bakery or something. Yeah. And then he would park here at the marina and watch all the uh, ice anglers. So, if you, this little speck right here, that's the red lighthouse that you saw in my uh, my picture slideshow where I had the black and white with the uh, pop of color, that red uh, lighthouse, that's it, that little speck out there. Look at the moon. Yeah, the moon's up there. You can see the moon right here. There's some ducks over there. Kick 
over. Yeah. And there's somebody walking there. Well, remember that day I walked out there when I did the video? Yeah. It was super windy that day. Uh, this would be uh, where all the boats park in the summertime. Oh, look at all the mallards. You guys can see the mallards right there. There's a bunch of them. Look how pretty they are, actually. Yeah, look at this. The green heads. Yeah. So pretty. <laughs> A lot of the boats there. Here's the winter boat storage. Going surfing. Oh, look at the waves. Wow, there's, there's a surfer. Is there? Is there? There's yep. a surfer out there. Two of them. Here? Yep. There, there. Wow. Oh, there's more surfers out oh, there. Yeah. Oh, there's more going out. Over there? Yep, he's getting ready. This guy's getting ready. There's some pretty, pretty good uh, waves there. Wow. I didn't think it was that windy right now. But it's creating those waves. But they say Lake Michigan. Is some of the best surfing. Is some of the best surfing you can find. Yeah. Even though I don't see anyone. Actually, up on a board. Yeah, I don't actually see anybody riding a, a wave. He's watch. He's just parked watching them. Well, that's cool. In all the years we've lived here, I don't think I've ever oh. seen surfers up there. <laughs> Do you want to go in a circle? I don't care.
So I wonder if that place there is open. I think it is. Or what is it? Um, it might be like a visitor, visitor center. Visitor center? Yeah. Chicken wrap from there again. You gonna stick? That was good. Mm -hmm. She was saying, chicken wrap from where? Stick from where? <laughs> we just uh, turned the roundabout, and uh, there's a bar there that has really good food. And I used to, uh, when I used to work at my last job. Because I was in leadership and they always took us out to uh, eat once a quarter and we used to go to that bar a lot and they had some good food. I used to eat their chicken bacon ranch wrap, they're so good. Then I used to um, bring a steak burger home for Glenn so he could have something to eat too. I don't know how many years that's been since I've been in the bar. Probably when you first got here. The Jalisco, not Jalisco, so Tejanos. Tejanos. Yeah. Tejanos was uh, when I when I very first got here, there was so many more uh, Mexican restaurants here. And one was called Tejanos, and it was uh, kind of like a bar and restaurant. Part. We went for the restaurant. Yeah, it was. Uh, we were going to eat some Mexican food there. <laughs> you had uh, um, your drink that you, old fashioned. Old fashioned. And I ordered. A, <laughs> we thought we would order a drink with our food, and I ordered a margarita. Well, at that time, I had already. That's an odd looking. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, at that time, I had stopped drinking. We both actually didn't drink anymore, really. But we thought we'd have a drink while we were waiting for our food. And I took a couple of drinks of my margarita, and I was like a little tipsy. <laughs> and I couldn't even finish my margarita. I gave it to Glenn. <laughs> well, the waves are pretty good out there. I don't know if you could see the waves, but the all that white is the waves coming, the white tips. I don't know if you guys remember the day I walked all the way out there, and it was uh, real windy, and the waves were crashing up. Um, it's there, it's much more right now than it was that day. Yeah, it's going right over. All the waves are crashing over the the walkway there, the break wall. We actually used to come and sit here a lot to eat, uh, like on Fridays, if we got, sounds like a uh, heart, yeah, crazy on you. What's that person? <laughs> but uh, on Fridays when we used to get fish fry, we would come here or the marina where we were just at and eat. Sometimes when we got Mexican food, we'd come here and eat. That was before they got crazy in price. Yeah. Now you've had two fish dinners, you're looking at 40, 40 plus, aren't you? Well, the last time we got... If, if I would have got a double. If you got a double, yeah, if we got the doubles, then we're looking at like 40 bucks. So we don't do that anymore. <laughs> it's a little too expensive now. You know I really like those, the fish where we used to go get them from. Yeah. Perch. The perch there. But I didn't like it forty dollars worth. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So believe it or not, we do not have Gypsy in the truck. We left her home. 
Yeah, where's she crying? Oh, she was barking up a storm. We could hear her through the window, <laughs> through the house. <laughs> Poor shit. <laughs> but that's what happens when we bring her all over. Yeah. She's, she's so used to that. Yeah. And how she knows the difference from like if I'm just going to the store. Or even just walking outside. But if... If she seems to know if it's just me going, I'm going to the store, she doesn't bark or anything. But if she she has a sense that we're both leaving somewhere, then she's she's not liking that. Poor girl. <laughs> she's probably still barking. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't uh, think the waves were going to be like this today. It doesn't seem, it didn't seem that windy. No. Not for this. No, not as much as the waves are right now. Alrighty. This is our downtown, folks. for cruising when you were a young kid. <laughs> we saw a muscle car or something on TV. Oh, I had that one. I had that one. I had that one. I had that one. <laughs> I think he, I think Glenn has had them all. <laughs> I've had quite a few. And I miss every one. Sides. Oh, okay. And it wasn't an angle oh. parking like this? Yeah. So, that one 
same one I raised on here with my buddy. We both started at the stop sign right here. Okay. <laughs> Shushan News. Okay. That's the green one? Yeah. Yeah, right. the green, green one. There was a car that was slowing down right here, so I sat him on my brakes. I spun around <laughs> and landed in that driveway backwards. <laughs> <laughs> and people probably thought I was lying about it. But our neighbor, <clears throat> our neighbor's sister-in-law, right? No, our neighbor's sister, is married to the guy I raised. Oh. And he mentioned that to our neighbor a couple of weeks ago. Okay. Remember that when he... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and this road that we're turning on right now was also another Drake strip. <laughs> no one will probably believe it, but a bridge that we just went over we went over that bridge. I wasn't driving. A buddy of mine was driving a, a 67 GTO, 125 mile an hour we went over that bridge. <laughs> oh, man. He was more of a, I don't know what to call it, mental case than I was. <laughs> <laughs> He could tell you a bunch of stories because we used to work together. And when I used to leave, I worked at a cemetery with him. And I, when we, when I used to leave for lunch or for supper time there, I used to floor, floor it and go. It was like I don't know. It was one block, but it was like about five blocks long. And he used to just shake his head. <laughs> If anybody knows what a 1970 Dodge Challenger was, that's what I was doing at that time. Doing it was at that time. We'll stop at the Dollar Tree. I'm thinking it's like 8 o'clock at night or something. <laughs> it's only like 4.40. 4, yeah. <clears throat> crazy when they were a young kid <laughs> yeah what crazy things did you do when you guys were young drop it down in the comments <laughs> tell us how crazy you were don't be afraid <laughs> yeah <laughs> the oldest so when we were I don't know 14 13 14 
And that was when I was always designated to go in the bar <laughs> and get a case of beer or something like that. <laughs> now, if I had kids and they would do that, they'd have their ass paddled. <laughs> She was raised up good. It wasn't that I was just a, well, I guess I was a wild kid, but. My parents didn't know half of it. <laughs> Isn't that the best part? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I could tell you stories. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, I'm going to head in the Dollar Tree. Oh, and I will be back. All right, everyone, so we're home now. I didn't record anything in the Dollar Tree, um, but... Uh, I didn't uh, I only got a couple things as far as crafting things um, but I actually went there for some like styrofoam plates and bowls and stuff like that I used some of that stuff for the kitties food their wet food when I put it down and then I used some for us so uh, sometimes it's just convenient to uh, be able to have that stuff and then uh, so that's what I went for um, I really didn't see a whole lot of the Christmas stuff at the Dollar Tree that really caught my eye to get I actually picked up one of their uh, gift bags to do a DIY with, DIY with uh, to put lights through the certain areas of the thing. But after looking at it more, it just looked too busy. And, uh, and I just thought to myself, I already have so many gift bags at home, so I put it back. So yeah, I, I really just need to use what I have already. And uh, But you know, some stuff catches your eye. It's kind of like... Uh, fishing where the the lures and stuff catch the eye of the angler more so than the fish so <laughs> crafting's the same way so all right um we did not stop to eat out any takeout or anything we were tempted because uh, we were both really hungry and we just wanted to stop and eat but we did not um so what i'm going to make i originally was just going to make some hamburgers uh make some hamburger patties got the buns but Glenn said he uh, actually would like that uh, chopped meat with the ketchup in it and put it on a hamburger bun. So that's what I'm going to make. Super easy and delicious. I love that stuff. So cooking at home. And I don't, because we were off the Veterans Day, uh, kind of threw my days off. So I have to figure out what day I'm on. So, But uh, I got my hat on just to keep my head a little warm until I get used to being in the house again. It was cold outside. So... All right, so I'm going to cook supper so we can eat finally, and uh, yeah, I don't know what else I'm doing tonight, but that's what I'm doing right now. All right, so stay tuned. All right, everyone, so here is our supper, this cook-at-home supper on this Wednesday night, and again, I don't remember what day it is, uh, doing the uh, Veterans Day uh, food thing uh, kind of threw me off, so um, I think it might be day 11. But I'm not sure. I'll have it on the title. <laughs> All right. So I just made some uh, loose meat hamburgers. And I made this not too long ago. So it's just basically a ground up ground beef. Uh, I threw some ketchup in it. Mixed it up. Let it simmer. And got some Miracle Whip on my, ham uh, my hamburger buns. And some tomato. And that's all there is. Uh, put whatever you want on it. But that's a... Uh, that's our supper and that's going to do it for this video so I hope you enjoyed the ride we took and the conversation we had I know you enjoy having Glenn on the video and uh, yeah he told some stories he's opening up a little bit more on the videos so so I'm happy he's uh, good with uh, being on them so alright thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos I appreciate all your support and with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.